Last time on Doug Doug, Twitch chat and I built my friend Parkser his dream city and city skylines, and he loved it. The fact that you even let it get like 8% as bad as this <laughs> is a critical problem to the city management. <laughs> That's my mayor! So today, Twitch chat and I will be building Parkser his dream zoo, because I made an app that will select one random Twitch viewer as the CEO of our new zoo in Planet Zoo. Each CEO will get five minutes to develop the zoo however they'd like, and then once we've spent the one million dollar starting budget, we're gonna call up Parkser and see how much he loves it. And Parkser legitimately really enjoys zoos. He's seen a ton of them during his road trip around the country, so we're gonna have to be on our A game today. The first CEO of the Park Zoo is Shatuckle. Shatuckle, are you here? Build some paths. All right, three, two, one, go. Build paths shape of a pea with a snake exhibit. A snake exhibit. Okay, I got you. Mr. CEO, is this a big enough pea? Do you want bigger? Perfect. I mean, that's a big pea. This will lay the groundwork for all the future CEOs. Inside the pea, let's get a tiger exhibit. Okay, tiger exhibit inside the pea. Got it. Oh, you can also make the exhibits walkable. Like, people can walk into them. Let me know if you want that. Let's make it walkable. All right. Do tigers need a lot of space? How many tigers do you want? We've got up to four. <sighs> three. <laughs> Wait, do you, do you want, like, a cheap tiger, or do you want, like, a nicer one? Chow is fine. All right, let's get a nice cheap one. Dude, this is a steal. Only 11 grand for a tiger? Okay, the tiger exhibit is looking beautiful. I'll add a path for the civilians. Also raise the walls. They can jump it. Okay, raising the habitat walls. Beautiful. What next, sir? Get some toys and food for them. We've only got 10 seconds left. I'll get whatever I can. One ball. <laughs> This park is looking incredible. You got a tiger and a ball. It has been an honor. And with our park now absolutely full of animals, we are ready to talk about today's sponsor, Opera GX, the browser for gamers. You see, your computer usage is exactly like a zoo. You want to play games and listen to music and browse the web all at once, but most browsers will hog all of your RAM and CPU, hurting your gaming performance. Well, it's time to kill those hogs, because with the GX control panel in Opera GX, you can limit the amount of CPU or RAM that Opera GX uses. That way, you can both game and watch 10 different videos of hog noises at the same time. And with Opera GX, you can log into your favorite apps directly into the sidebar of the browser, which I love. So you can browse the web while easily checking Twitter or replying to Discord messages or checking to see if somebody like me, who's very inconsistent, is actually streaming live on Twitch. And if you download Opera GX using the link in the description, you get an exclusive Doug Doug feature to see the latest 12 videos that I've posted in the GX corner tab. So if I upload a new video of me searching for hogs in the wild, you'll be the first to know. They're out there! Now, Opera GX, just like a zoo, offers tons of customization features. And with the GX mods. You can completely transform your browser zoo thing with just a single click. You can even use the brand new Doug Doug mod, which has its own custom music, sounds, colors, wallpaper, everything is completely customizable, and there's a whole zoo of mods available. You can even make your own mods, like if you wanted to make a mod that plays hog sounds every time you type a letter. So get that hog out of your ass, and download Opera GX using the link below today, and upgrade your browser experience. Thanks so much to Opera GX for sponsoring this video. And with those goddamn hogs gone, we can get back to making this perfect zoo for Parkser. And before the stream actually started, I made sure to ask Parkser what does he look for in his perfect zoo, so that we can carefully craft this experience for him. Point number one, I like taking photos, so I like zoos that have more open areas and aren't as restrictive of cages or glass, so you can get closer to the animals, and beyond a baseline certain extent, your safety is your own responsibility. Okay, so something to consider. Our next CEO is Dab Foots. Welcome, sir. Hello. God, that's my fucking CEO. We even have guests coming into the park. They are ripping and roaring for this tiger and that ball. So, firstly, we need Rose an exhibit. All right, let's do it. Rose exhibit. Uh, where do you want it, sir? Top of P. Do you want it a specific shape or anything? Big. Okay, I'll try to make it bigger. I already kind of enclosed that side, but we'll, we'll scoop it out over here. How many do you want? Do you want all of them? All the otter. Okay. I think we might have an infinite amount of otters. You're going to have to tell me a limit. <laughs> Four. Okay. Do they, you think they want water or anything? Get them the water. Okay, cool. That good. Okay, that's good. Oh, Rose is going to love that. Get all the toys. Here, I'll just try to get a variety, I guess. Oh, these are bubble machines. Don't forget their food. They need food? Uh, oh, we can put a pool in here. <laughs> Add food and drink for the people. Okay, so this is a bakery. And uh, here's a food truck. And that's time. I will say that the otters don't have a lot of land. They're fine, probably. All I know is I trust our CEOs. They know F what's best. Y I, you can see what type of toys they will play with space they need. 
barrier type, etc. in the Zoopedia. Okay, all right, you sound awfully cocky for somebody who isn't the CEO of a zoo, unlike Raw Toast, who knows what they're doing. I'm gonna go ahead and trust the Stanford degreed PhD in animal conservationist about what oh, exactly the otters need. Add some rocks for Rosa. Got it, yes sir. Good. Okay. Sorry, it is looking a little penile. Oh, maybe make the fence a bit taller. Okay, there we go. You know, I do think the timing of that was a little bad. All of them are outside of the exhibit right now. <laughs> <laughs> this is fine. Well, Maybe we do put them back. Yeah. Well, I don't know how to do that, sir. You're going to have to tell me. Or we just get more otters. There's a shitload of otters for sale, dude. We still have $925,000. Get like six. Okay, let's go. Oh, they have names. Give it up for Sylvia. If you can rename them, make them all Rosa. <laughs> okay. I don't know where they all are because a bunch of them escaped. <laughs> There's otters everywhere. That's fine. Uh, apparently the tigers are fighting. Let me know if you wanted me to do anything about that. Okay, fine. Feed the tigers, I guess. Or you could just throw like a deer in there. Yeah, that's a good call. I like the cut of your jib. Oh, let's get a European fallow deer. Now that sounds delicious. Sounds expensive. I'm just giving them a variety, more of a buffet. Wait, is that tiger asleep? Are you a hungry boy? Oh, oh no, you're no, you're a dead of dehydration boy. Um, I don't know if there are any tigers left, sir. <laughs> Add more tigers and name them Rosa. <laughs> Yes, sir! Barks is gonna love this. Let's get Siberian tigers. That was the problem. We used Bengal tigers. No wonder they died. I'll just make tigers up until your time is up. Time! Mr. or Mrs. CEO, I have a crispy $1 bill if you give the tigers a food truck. <laughs> Now, before the board of directors elects a new leader, let's check out another one of Parkster's requests. I like zoos where the habitats are more natural and the animals feel like they belong there rather than just being on display. Something to consider. All right, our next CEO is Cackley's. Cackley's, before we get started, could you maybe um, just in one sentence describe your vision as the new CEO of the Park Zoo? Why am I here? <laughs> Okay, I feel convinced. As soon as you give me an order, we begin. I want an enclosure in the shape of a P for Parkser. Okay, perfect. The P's been created. At least four otters. Okay, I think that's four. I want ten bins also. Eight, nine, ten. Water for otters. Oh, I'll put it in the middle of the P. That works perfectly. Okay, now there's a big P hole. Oh, all of the tigers got out. <laughs> oh, your time's up. Thank you for everything. You're all amazing. Thank you, Mr. CEO. I think this park is really coming together. The next CEO is Tweak Owl. Hi. Tweak Owl, what's your first order of business? Fire the janitor. <laughs> okay, that seems like it's the number one priority. All right, Tori Doherty's out of here. I want pandas. Okay, would you like them in one of the existing exhibits or in a new one? In the one with water. There's two with water. I'll put, I guess, into the otter exhibit. Oh, we have another sleepy otter. <laughs> I'm just gonna put pandas into this otter hole until you tell me to stop. Make a small extra pen for Rosa in the shape of a pea. Got it. Parkser loves habitats that are shaped in a pea, I think. We now have three peas kind of looped in on each other. We need to spoil Rosa. Okay, I will put in enrichment items. All right, and that's time. Oh, look at that. That's adorable. Oh wait, no, is that one sleeping? <laughs> We've got a lot of sleepy otters in the exhibits. That's fine. Our next CEO is Dolphin Spog. Welcome. I guess we need a dolphin exhibit. Yes, sir. Oh, there aren't dolphins. We, we've got turtles. Turtles, yes. Okay, we'll get some turtles. 12 turtles. <laughs> I don't know if that'll be enough space, but let's send it. Oh, the pandas have arrived. <laughs> I mean, pandas are harmless. That'll be fine. Hey, CEO, can make an arena for a zoo battle royale? Zoo battle royale sounds lit. Let's do it. Do you want to make this the battle royale zone? Yes, turtle royale bog. Wait, what do you mean turtle royale? Just more turtles? I mean, I'll just keep adding turtles until you tell me to do something. That's my CEO. All he said was turtle battle royale. I mean, at least the turtles are only like 600 bucks. Now, remember that Twitch chat only has $1 million total to spend on this zoo, and they've already spent $300,000 dollars and there's not a lot to show for it and the instant we run out of money the zoo is done and we have to show whatever we've built to park sir okay you can stop okay got it add food and water let the turtles live a happy life yes sir although i don't know if i have time for that oh they okay i don't think they can swim and <laughs> that's time <laughs> now they're all, st they're all st that's all right that's my fucking CEO. How do they not know how to swim? They're Galapagos turtles. I'm not sure why, but this zoo has put the fear of God into me. It's a good zoo. People gotta stop freaking out. Alright, let's let's check back in with Parkser's demands. Parkser also says, I'm not really a fan of birds. I find birds to be annoying. Alright, so keep that in mind, Mr. CEO. Our next CEO is Pan Man. Let's go. You should set half the turtles free and then give the rest some land. <laughs> yes, sir! Go free, my turtles. Give them an island. Okay, got it, got it. Wait, let me try this. 
Oh my god. Does that work? It's perfect. Okay, cool. Oh wait, one of the pandas died of dehydration. Where even is this? Okay, that guy, he deserved it. If you're gonna run that far away from the pee hole, like, you're obviously gonna run out of water. Can you make the panda an exhibit? What do you mean by- I mean, like the de <laughs> this one? Okay. Make it a petting exhibit. <laughs> Lower the price of entry for kids so more can experience the zoo. Okay, good idea. I like that. Uh... About that petting zoo. Do you s still want me to make the petting zoo, sir? Now it's a fossil exhibit. Oh. Okay, can you make it a giraffe exhibit? I'm sure the kids will love it. Okay, that's true, that's true. The exhibit's ready. Boom. Oh shit, time. Okay. We do have 92 problems with, <laughs> with the animals. But, good news, there are no birds. Our next CEO is Homermon. Oh, damn. Okay, we have a lot of upset animals. The staff are pretty unhappy. They don't seem to have buildings or vets or feeders. But well, why don't we check out some of Parkster's other requests? Let's go ahead and make a human exhibit. <laughs> okay, hold on, hold on. Out of the zoos I visited during my road trip, the most memorable ones have been the ones where there was an employee there describing something quirky and unique about the particular animals there. Such as an elephant that remembered its caretaker from 20 years ago and recognized her when she showed up to visit when she was older. Human exhibit, then if we have time, one elephant. I like your priorities, sir. Let's go. I guess I'll make a barrier around all these people. Okay, cool. The turtles are actually enjoying looking Please at them. Please make sure the humans have a nice habitat with some decorations. <laughs> okay. I'll give them a nice water pool. What even is this? Whatever, humans are gonna love this. Tires. People love tires. Oh, ducks. Looks like I'm gonna add a lot of ducks. Let's get started on that elephant. Okay. And that is the end of your time. Before we elect our next CEO, let us read more advice from Parkster. My dream zoo would be one that is very large and has a lot of wide open space that doesn't feel cramped with other people visiting there. Because a lot of the times when I go to zoos, it's overrun by children and it feels like I can't really enjoy myself. Okay, so keep that in mind. Parkster hates children. Our next CEO is Azriel the Second. Welcome. Unreal. Azriel, we seem to have fewer issues with animals since our last CEO took over, but that might be because they're all dead. What would you like? Add more paths. Okay, um, where? There must be more more people um just add them everywhere i'm sure this will fix everything okay yeah i mean parks are hates crowded spaces i am a man of great mind oh shit okay sorry i'm not trying to make it this windy this is looking fantastic yeah this looks good i'll keep adding paths until you tell me to do something else add more bathrooms okay we are gonna spend some serious money on toilets i think Increase the price for children. Yes, sir. Oh, the elephants broke the chain link fence. <laughs> All right, let me know if you want to do something about that. I'll go make the kids. Kids are now $10. Now we must add random decorations all over the park. Sounds good. Children for $10? What an incredibly low price. Could I get some? We have tons in our park. We have so many for you. I wonder if any animals are alive. Oh, there's one. No, that's a statue. Uh, I'm not positive if our zoo has any animals. Is the giraffe okay? Okay, the giraffe is also sleepy. Fantastic. I mean, he's clearly not dead. He's having a nightmare. A nightmare about not having enough water. Sorry, we're out of time. Goodbye world, it was great transforming this park in my great five year term. It was an honor, sir. Our next CEO is dropped the fill. I'm pretty sure the only living animal is the escaped elephant. We gave them lots of enrichment, we but need no- chimps. Wow, chimps are expensive. Let me know if you want me to do anything else, sir. Sir, uh, <laughs> just checking. Are you still there? Because this is about like 15 chimpanzees. They're like 10 grand each. Kid tickets, 150. Children's tickets are $100. That's the max. Oh, an animal died of old age. There was an animal that lived a long, healthy life. <laughs> this is actually a huge victory for us. Wait, hold on. Is it because it lived a happy life or because it was stuck in a box here? <laughs> Name a chimp Parkser as a guest. Parkser. He's gonna love that. Open the boxes. I mean, the box- this is a tiger. Do you want me to- Oh, it's dead. <laughs> There's a dead tiger in the box. Hippo next to giraffe and a zebra and lion cause Madagascar. Okay. Okay, well, the- <laughs> Look, guys, it's Madagascar. You know, like the movie. Time. Thank you, Drop the Fill. Our next CEO, JT Boys. Now, before you make your first move, let's look at what else Parkster requested. I've never seen one of these before, but live hunting sessions would be awesome. For example, in a cheetah enclosure, they release a small antelope or something so the guests can literally see the cheetah chase down and kill its prey. I don't think zoos are allowed to do that, but that was the other request from Parkster. Build a huge enclosure. All right, yes, sir. We are going to fill it entirely with rubber ducks. <laughs> okay, yeah. So huge. Yes, sir. 
are. Um, we'll put the, we'll put it here. As large as the round part of our pee. Oh, Jesus. Okay, that's huge. Okay, a lot of the chimpanzees have escaped, apparently. They can have fun. Okay. One large hole full of water for them. Okay, got it. Why is the enclosure this big for, <laughs> for rubber ducks? They need the space. You're a fucking CEO. You know what you're talking about. Uh, okay, sir, I'm adding the rubber ducks. Put an E after the P. What? Like, like here? Yes. Look, this doesn't make sense to me, but I didn't go to Stanford Business School. Trust the CEO, chat. That works. Now one more. <laughs> Guys, trust the CEO. These are the types of business decisions you learn about in Stanford Business School. Anything else, sir? Now put a Rosa exhibit in the first one. Put a Rosa exhibit in the E? Okay. This is like the third Rosa exhibit. All the other ones have died. We need food, water, and toys. Well, fortunately, the next CEO is going to have to just sign off on that one. Doug, Pox of the Chimp died. Oh, 07. We need to... <laughs> Whoever the last CEO is, the last CEO needs to put a lot of animals in. Parkshire won't know that we've burned through like 200 random animals. As long as we put in some animals last minute, he'll think this is a normal thriving zoo. We can salvage this. Naiweeniumi. Welcome to the office. Why is the rubber duck exhibit so big? Maybe Parkshire will think they're alive. Um, so I want more otters. <laughs> Good, good, good. Where would you like them? Anywhere. Yes, sir. Everywhere, Akuli. Okay, I'll put a couple in here first. Oh, wait, we have that otter exhibit from the very beginning. We can put some there. Hold on. Right in here. Why is the water so brown? Also, can I have a beer shop? I don't know if they have beer, but let me look. Okay, there's a whole lot of drink shops now for you. Great. Now get more otters. <laughs> okay. Okay, and give that otter some water. Okay. And a tree, maybe. <laughs> One tree, okay. What? Oh, yeah, give them food, too. They might actually stay alive for Parkshire's review. Get five more huge trees. Okay, all right. That's my CEO. One tree, but put it on a hill that way it can be one tree hill. Only if the CEO allows. I allow. Time, but I'll make one tree hill. Okay, thank you, and I hope the otters survive. Bye. <laughs> one tree hill sucks ass. Why is this animal still in a box? <laughs> Why do we just have animals in boxes laying around? This tiger is dead. The next CEO is Neo the Archer. We have eight vets. Why aren't they picking up the dead tiger? Where are the fucking vets? Fire the vets. <laughs> yes, sir, Mr. Mayor. Fired, 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 fired. Make a grave for the tiger. Okay, I guess I'll dig a hole here. Okay, we made a tiger grave. We are super close to running out of money. Add a row of toilets by the tiger. Okay, uh, I guess we'll go ch cheap. Expensive toilets. Okay. Only the best for the dead tiger. Oh shit, our money is dropping really fast. That's the end of your term. For this last CEO, we need somebody who's business savvy to really squeeze a lot of value out of the last $20,000 that a zoo has. You probably get time for one, maybe only a half of an action. Our final CEO, Dacia Permission Weed. Limp Biscuit poster at the entrance. I don't know how to do that. Limp Biscuit poster. <laughs> oh, Parkser likes Limp Biscuit. Perfect. <laughs> Doesn't fit. Oh, oh, it's upside down. No, we just have to rotate it. <laughs> Keep it upside down. <laughs> you, you sure? It looks great. Sorry, I trust you. $10,000. This might be the end, sir. 8000 All money on otters. Okay. Go, 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 go. Animal. 245 Send to the zoo. Go. $6,000. Nacho costs 1100 That's fine. We still have 3000 1700 We buy the cheapest one. And we only have $500 left. And we're done. We're done. Park Zoo is complete. And welcome to Parks or Zoo. All right, let's get Parks on the horn. Now we can get a prediction. Would Parks or visit our zoo? Come on, believers. Don't be a coward. Parks are gonna love it. Okay, let's see what happens. <laughs> Hello, Douglas. Douglas. Parks are. Boy, do we have the entertainment experience prepared for you. Okay, can you see the zoo? I can see the zoo. I see your screen share. Okay, let me present to you the one and only. Park Zoo! Is that an upside down billboard of Limp Biscuit? <laughs> okay, how much do you love Limp Biscuit, Park Sir? Uh, I wouldn't say I really love them, but I mean, they're fine. <laughs> <laughs> he loves them! Okay, you come in, you walk past the Limp Biscuit poster, right? You're thinking, wow, this looks pretty good. And then you get into what is, in fact, a gigantic letter P. Everything is built within this P, including the word P and sub-peas <laughs> distributed throughout. On the left side, you're gonna notice, wow, wild ducks swimming around in the pool. Wait, can you go back to the ducks? 
Maybe from this distance, though. Like, don't look at him too close. Can you zoom into this box? <laughs> no, no, no. Next up, you are going to notice this box, which has a Z uh, sleepy zebra in it. So, what? I, which direction would you like uh, to go first? It's Left? It's not sleepy. It, it's dead. It says died of... It. That's a... That's a, Italian. It means it's hibernating for the winter. As we move along, you're going to notice this, I guess, cage. I think there's supposed to be an otter in that. A lot of bathrooms all Wait, leading there up. There used to be an otter in there. I don't have a way of knowing for certain what is in this box. There was an otter in there, wasn't there? Okay, there's a lot of monkeys in the boxes over here. Now, this is one of Why our most still in the popular boxes? exhibits is the human exhibit. Literally the most <laughs> popular exhibit we have by far. You come into this path and you get a 360 panorama view of several people who were trying to protest in humane conditions, as well as more wild ducks. <laughs> Past the tiger grave, you can actually come out to a little habitat we like to call Madagascar. Have you seen the movie Madagascar, Parkser? What do you mean the movie? I've, I've never been to Madagascar No, before. no, no. There's a movie called Madagascar. Hold on. Let me Google it. To, okay. Look at a poster of Madagascar. Okay. Pull it up. Oh, I've seen this before. Okay. I know this. Okay. There you go. So look at the movie poster and then take a look at our recreation. Where's the recreation? Oh. <laughs> they recently passed peacefully of old age in their sleep, but we had all of them. Did you happen to place all of the Madagascar animals into the same enclosure at the same time? <laughs> Let's not criticize what may or may not have happened. Okay, so, so they killed each other. These are some of our patented um, walking paths. So okay. <laughs> I know how much you like going for walks. I do. I actually like hiking. There you go. Um, there you go. This is another otter exhibit. It looks like maybe these in... Oh, there's a tiger in this box. No, that is a... T why is there a tiger in the otter exhibit? So we the made, it, we made alive, a habitat but... specifically for this tiger, including an Indian elephant temple. This is one of our oldest otter exhibits. I think there... We maybe even have some otters here. Yeah. Francisco is here. Why? Why is it in a box, though? <laughs> Here, here's something you're going to love. This, off in the distance, is One Tree Hill with a tree on top. One of your favorite TV shows. Is One Tree Hill about an actual tree on a hill? Pretty sure. Okay. Um, in, fa I in fact, that the editor, can you put a spoiler centered? alert on screen? Huh? Nothing. As we move farther along the P, you're gonna notice, I think, toilets for some reason? I forget what this CEO was doing. Yeah, okay, these are all various toilets. And you have a variety of toilets, so be sure to, to think about that. Any toilet- I mean, they look they look nice. It's very convenient. There you go. And this was specifically catered knowing that you hate children. If we come out here, um, you're gonna okay, notice I that- don't, I don't hate children. Well, I think in your note, you said children are selfish and they don't deserve to have entertainment like me. Okay, they, they are selfish, but that is just the nature of children. Wait, is this an adults-only zoo or something? It's not, but it does cost $100 for children to enter. So we <laughs> basically have no children and haven't for several years. Okay. Is there still positive cash flow? About that. We'll get to that later. Now, in the E of our P in the P Park Sir Park, we do have a bunch of otters. Uh-oh. Okay. I see the otters. <laughs> and they're swimming happily around, and they even got five trees. So... Pretty cool They're enclosure. Deceased. Pretty cool enclosure there. They're very sleepy. It is winter time and they are hibernating. And you can see here dead. at the end of the pee. Um, I they believe that wraps dead. up the tour of the zoo. I am going to go ahead and admit that this costs us $1 million and I will need that back. <laughs> Park, sir, don't hold back any longer. Would you, even once, for a $3 entry fee, visit the Park Zoo Park? $3 is actually really cheap. Okay. Um, wait, so where where is this? Let... I don't, um, it's in North America. That's all I specified. Okay. Um, so this is probably the worst zoo I have ever seen in my entire life. I would visit it. Let's go! Yes! To blog about how, how much it Jesus sucks. <laughs> He loves it. He I loves the it. park zoo. I hate it, but I would visit it. Oh. Those are rubber ducks. You did you No, 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 no. And that's how our zoo got the official Parkser seal of approval. I guess those incredible CEOs knew what they were doing. Thanks for watching, everybody. Join us next time when we ship a dead tiger in a box to Parkser's house. I, I don't want it. Do you want you the leftovers? Or? Actually. Now that I think about it, I guess I've never eaten tiger before. <laughs> Don't eat the dead tiger. <laughs>